What's up, everybody? How we doing today? Happy Thursday. Thirsty Thursday. Rooster Man's trying to get to the house. Started thinking about some of the football games, the bigger games that are coming up this week. And uh, wanted to get you guys' opinion on uh, what you think of some of these games, and I'll give my opinion on it. First on my list, Iowa. Iowa. At Penn State. Iowa at Penn State. Who wins the football game? It is at Penn State. Iowa scored over 30 points for the first time last week that any of us can remember. Uh, I guess uh, oh, uh, Ference Jr. over there is trying to get that bonus check. Uh, is this the year that, uh, you know, Franklin becomes legit? Is this the year where he can really get out there, win the games he's supposed to win? This Iowa game is a game you think Penn State wins, right? Drew Lar running game everything's looking good over there at penn state this is a game you don't lose right if james franklin's gonna be legit and he wants to be counted amongst the best coaches in the country you can't lose to iowa oh for real you just can't you cannot lose to iowa james franklin this is a proven game for you if you want people to consider you that you even have a chance of taking out ohio state or michigan or any of the the elite Big Ten teams, uh, which that's Ohio State and uh, Michigan. But anywhere else in there, if you're going to be a legit uh, top ten coach, these are the games you cannot lose, James Franklin. You cannot lose. You lose these kind of games, you'll be back coaching at Vanderbilt for too long. Another game. Neon Dion takes a show on the road with the Colorado Buffs against the Oregon Ducks. Are the Ducks flying high or are the Buffaloes going to just trample over the Ducks? Well, we know, all know Travis Hunter's out, the best player on Colorado's roster. We do know Shadur Sanders is having a great year. Colorado's defense is terrible. Oregon's offense is really good. Oregon's defense is good. Oregon's probably just going to blow them away. I'm just saying. Colorado gets the wake-up call this week. Neon Dion is going to have to give his first uh, losing speech after a game. Uh, and we'll see how that turns out. The questions will be asked. Hey, was it because of Travis Hunter? Was it because of Travis Hunter? Did y'all lose because of Travis Hunter? Yeah, there's 11 other players on uh, offense, 10 other players on defense. Not a big 11th different player on defense. No Travis Hunter on offense or defense. But it will be, wait, they will somehow, the national media will twist and turn this that Oregon is not the better team. Colorado lost because Travis Hunter didn't play. And I'll just leave that one at that. Another, let's just stay out with us. Let's talk about it. UCLA versus Utah. UCLA Bruins versus Utah in Utah. UCLA is a pretty good team, undefeated. Uh, looks pretty good. The flying Chip Kellys of uh, University of California at Los Angeles against old Utah. Kyle Winningham, probably one of the best coaches in college football, just hasn't really got over the hump to, I guess, got Utah to where you you consider them a great team. They won the uh, Pac-12 last year, but they haven't made the playoffs. They haven't gotten over the hump as far as national title contention yet. But they do play very physical. We saw that against Florida. Utah plays a physical brand of football. Uh, Cam Rising still battling energy. In, not energy. Injury. Uh, will he be back? I don't know. haven't heard word on it. Uh, so far, hasn't been able to play this year, but we'll see. I'm going to say Utah still takes this at home. Uh, I think we've seen enough out of Utah this year. I think UCLA finds their first loss way up in the Rocky Mountains. Uh, Oregon State, Washington State. Ukulele Man has been looking pretty good all year. Oregon State struggled a little bit last year. Last week still was able to pull out the victory. Washington State Cougars were not sure what they are. They have been playing good. Um, 
I'm still going to lean in this game. I'm going to go Oregon State because I just want to see the ukulele man just keep winning, winning, and winning, and rubbing it in the taters, taters face as much as we can, right? Let's go, ukulele man. Let's go, beavers. I don't know which one of these games I want to go to next. Who do I want to go to? Um, Let's go Ole Miss, Alabama. If Ole Miss and Lane Kiffin are able to beat Alabama in Alabama, this will mean Nick Saban will have lost two games at home this year already. And basically back-to-back -back games because they played South Florida. Um, mm, mm, is this the year that Nick Saban actually retires? If Lane Kiffin goes into Tuscaloosa and wins this game, is can we finally say the Alabama dynasty is over? Uh, I'm sure the fans are going to be on Nick Saban is too old anymore. Uh, he's lost his touch. He just needs to retire. I'm going to say uh, Nick Saban, benefit of the doubt. I trust in Saban. He's done it time after time after time. It's going to be uh, Ole Miss this week. It'll quieten it down. It's going to be a close game. I don't think anyone's getting blown away in this game. Ole Miss offensively is better than uh, what Alabama has shown. Defensively, I'm not so sure that Ole Miss – is very good um yet i think maybe they get better in the future i just i'm not sold on old miss and defense i think alabama at home will use their defense hopefully use milro the way you should use him and he's probably going to run the ball a lot and uh that gives you that extra man right line them up don't i don't, I don't know how much they'll throw the ball but I look for Milrow to be the leading rusher again for Alabama. Hopefully the offensive line can block. I don't think, like I said, Ole Miss is not very good defensively. I don't think it's going to be that uh, tough for Alabama to kind of hold uh, Ole Miss back uh, defensively. So I'm going to roll tight. I think uh, Alabama takes this game in a close one. I don't, I don't see it being a blowout. Defensive backs for Alabama have to play much better. If not, they're going to get picked apart, and uh, Ole Miss could pull this game out. I will say that. And we're going to have to see more. But Dallas Turner, Kool-Aid McKinstry, them guys step up this week, and I'm going roll tide over Ole Miss. Who else is on my list? Who do I want to go to next? Do we want to go to Golden Domers versus the Bucknuts? Notre Dame versus Ohio State at Notre Dame. Home game for Notre Dame. Ohio State has shown to struggle some this year. They did get their offense clicking. Uh, I think they scored 60-something last week or whatever. Finally got uh, the wide receiver core going. Uh, you got two NFL wide receivers that we're aware of and probably a lot more coming behind those guys. But Marvin Harrison and uh, and then in Buka, is that how you say his name? Can't, I, I hate butchering these kids' names, but I have a hard time pronouncing a lot of these names. Uh, we know the talent that Ohio State has. Put it all together. I don't know about Ohio State's defense. It has seemed to struggle. Um, Notre Dame, we've watched. They've shown that they've been one of the better teams so far this year. Sam Hartman is tearing it up. Uh, Notre Dame's defense, eh. You know, look at who they played, questionable at best. I think they're okay. Uh, are they good enough to stop Ohio State's offense? I don't know. I want to lean Notre Dame because Notre Dame's at home. But I just, I, I'm so scared because we watch teams that have some of these tricky offenses and stuff Notre Dame struggled with as like Marshall last year and stuff like that. Does Notre Dame have enough on defense to stop those NFL wide receivers of Ohio State from having a big day? Man, I don't know, and I hate Ohio State. I kind of like Notre Dame. I guess they're all right. But sometimes when you're picking games, you can't pick with your heart, right? You got to pick with your wallet. Notre Dame, Ohio State. 
I guess I'm gonna have to roll buck nuts. I'm gonna ride buck nuts on this. Uh, maybe I jinx the buck nuts and they lose. Ohio State gets the win. I meant Notre Dame gets the win. Uh, I don't know, but I'm gonna say Ohio State beats Notre Dame. Uh, we gotta see Notre Dame really, really win the big game. I mean, I know they beat Clemson last year, but I don't think taters are as good as everybody thinks they are. And those are the next ones on my list. The old taters versus the cinnamon rolls. Florida State, Clemson, Florida State, Frank. Number four in the country, I guess you could say. I think that's what they are for. Depends on the service you look at, but AP four. Clemson is not ranked. When's the last time Clemson's not been ranked? With only one loss. But then Clemson goes out. They lost to Duke. Played uh, Charleston Southern. Um, we all know that's just a glorified high school down in uh, Charleston, South Carolina. And the Fighting Tom Hermans of FAU that probably spent all night uh, hanging out at the strip club before they played Clemson. They just wanted that paycheck. Um, Florida State, better win. LSU, LSU's gotten better, or I don't know. Florida State struggled with Boston College. Was it an overlooked game? Did uh, Florida State, were they looking ahead to uh, to the Clemson game? Boston College, red bandana game means a lot to them emotionally with 9-11 and all the stuff that went on there. They always get up for that game. Um, but I want to say Florida State was peaking. Peeking ahead to Clemson and overlooking Boston College. We all know Boston College wasn't a very good football team last year. They're really not a very good football team this year either. Uh, the Taters have done nothing to impress me. They don't really have any big playmakers at wide receiver. Everybody tried to t sell us on uh, Williams. Uh, yeah, he's that guy. No, he's not. He's a, he's a slot guy. He, taters are used to having those big wide receivers out there on the outside. They can sling it up and catch it. Clay... Cade Club Nick can the Florida State Seminoles kick Club Dick in the dirt? Can they put Club Dick in the dirt? I'm gonna say, man, this is a tough game. Clemson at home, a two point dog. Probably don't remember the last time Clemson was a dog at home. Um, I know I hear a lot of people talking all this stuff about. You know, why is it only two points? Blah, 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 blah. It's two, two, I don't know. Hey, up and down football teams, you'd say. Uh, look really good and then both look really bad. So, hey, why Florida State's number four, I don't know. Other than beating LSU. Uh, hey, and struggle with Boston College. I, I don't know why they're still up there, except people are still buying the hype of Florida State. Clemson's tough at home. They are, but I am so tired of hearing the Tater Man still thinking this 2018. It is not 2018 anymore. Uh -uh. Trevor Lawrence is not there. Uh, uh, ETN is not there. All them defensive players, they're not there. Your defense is not nearly as good. Xavier Thomas has been around since, uh, you know, they invented the arc. I mean, I don't know. Clemson's defense is not that good. I I, I don't understand the hype. I hear the Tater Man hollering over it all the time. You know, just like Tennessee. I had to say the same thing about Tennessee. But and we saw what Florida did to Tennessee last. They thought their offense was going to be better this year than it was last year, and there's no freaking way. I don't think Clemson's any better than they were last year with DJ. Uh, the, the coaches and the players are fighting amongst each other. Uh, this ain't Dabo's type of team. <sighs> Can Florida State go in there and let the air out of Dabo's sliding board? Can Florida State just roll down the hill up there in uh, the Taterville trailer park? I'm gonna go Florida State just cause I hate Clemson. I just can't do it. I can't, I can't, I can't. I tried to convince myself, just take, you should take Clemson there at home. This is a surprise game. Florida State struggled on the road last week. They're on the road again this week. Uh, I don't trust them Florida State. I really don't care for any, any, either of these teams. There's two former South Carolina players on Florida State's team. 
they kind of pissed me off that they're there. Jaheim Bell, Gilbert Edmond uh, bailed out on us to run for that bag of money down there at uh, Florida State. It, it ticks me off, pisses me off that they're there. But man, I just can't dislike any team more than I dislike the Taters. I just can't. It, it, it's not in me as a Gamecock fan to pull for a Tater. I can't find myself to pull for a Tater. Uh, I can't help but to sit back if the Tater's losing, I'm gonna laugh my ass off, but do some tomahawk chops, whatever I gotta do. Just because the Tater Man just pisses me off so bad. If it wasn't for the Tater Man running around, trash talking South Carolina and talking about how awful our team is when their team isn't any better than us, and the last time we played them, we beat them at home and broke their home winning streak, but yet they still want to talk shit and South Carolina's trash, even though the two games we lost were to two ranked teams that are in the top 20. But Tater Man still wants to talk shit. You're not that good, Tater Man. I hate to tell you that. Rude awakenings are coming. You're going for your second loss of the year, Tater Man. And before the year is over, you're going to have a lot more than that. You're probably going to be 8-4 and four after Notre Dame whoops your ass and South Carolina beats your ass and then you might get back in. No, you ain't even going to make it because North Carolina or one of them other cats are going to make it to the ACC Championship. This is the year Clemson don't even make the ACC Championship. And the hell with it. I'm glad. The damn orange smog's over with. Just go on. Pet your little rock. Slide down your damn sliding boards. Go get in your damn little dunk tank over there and uh, cleanse all your sins. Tater man. You're going to have plenty of time to do it because your ass ain't going to the ACC championship game. And Florida State's coming in there to stick a spear right up Dabo's ass. That's what Rooster Man got to say about it. Peace.